Calm. Thanks very much for joining us. Welcome to Tiny Arms. Uh, first time? <laughs> yeah, it is my first time. Looks awesome. Nice little yeah. spot and I can imagine it on a Saturday game day, all the jambos filling it up. Filling it up. Yeah, it definitely gets busy. Busier because you're here just now as well, obviously. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so. yeah, of course. <laughs> um, you've been here a good few months now. How are you settling into to life in, in Edinburgh and Gordon? Yeah, for sure. I'm feeling a lot more settled in now, I think. Yeah, like I've said before, it was such a massive move coming across the other side of the world. Obviously, it's my first time living outside of home, living by myself, and so that was a big adjustment. And then also, yeah, in terms of the football, the, the football here is really different to back home in Australia, but I feel like, yeah, over the last few months, I've sort of grown into my role in the team, and I'm happy where I am at the moment, and I'm happy where the team are. I think we're in a really good spot now. So how has the, the change been for you both on and off the park? What's the, the biggest adjustment that you've had to make since moving over? Ah, uh, the weather for one, for sure. I mean, we're just getting out of the out of the worst bit now, but yeah, winter is definitely the coldest winter I've ever um, been and lived through. But even just yeah, playing and you're playing in free, freezing conditions, or it's freezing for me, and just getting used to that, it's a huge adjustment. And but all, all in all, I think the, the city is awesome, and I really love it here. And it's a really nice city to live in, and there's a great environment around the club and and the area. So that's something that I'm really grown fond with and I'm really enjoying at the moment. We spoke to Kenneth recently, uh, I know that you carpool with, with Kenneth yeah. quite often, he was signing off your music taste, have you got any response to that? Yeah I saw that, I don't know what he's talking about but I, I think he needs to learn some more English to be honest because <laughs> I don't think he can understand anything I put on so he just likes Bad Bunny and that's it but I'll say the same thing, I, I don't know about that because it's just Spanish and I can't, I can't understand the word they're saying but I know that obviously Kenneth is one guy, but how have your, how have your teammates helped you to sort of adapt to life in, in Scotland and, and life in Edinburgh? Yeah, heaps. The, the dressing room is really great. All the boys in there, such great characters and there's, there's really good personalities and I think everyone gets along really well. I think everyone's got that really good um, mentality, like we can joke around with each other and have a laugh, but then when it gets to times for being serious, we all really switch on and know when to put our best foot forward. And, yeah, I mean, obviously it's really nice having the, the Aussie boys in the squad. They've been they've been awesome just to chat to and and yeah and learn off. Uh, but like I said, I think everyone everyone in the squad, the English boys, the Scottish boys, Japanese boys, everyone gets along really well, and it's yeah, a really tight knit bunch of bunch of lads. Before we get right into all the football chat, how is the how's the injury? How are you feeling, and how's it be happy? Yeah, the, the injury's going well. I mean, I did a so the uh, grade two uh, hamstring, but. It's it's progressing really well. It's it's been three weeks and I've just started training again with the team and so I'm potentially looking to be on the bench this weekend. But if not, then should be the following week. So um, yeah, for me it's good. I, I think I was lucky in in terms of the timing that I didn't miss too many games. Obviously we had the cup game and and one league match. But yeah, for me it's just about getting back on the pitch as, as soon as possible and getting back out there, which I'm really looking forward to doing again. Well, Shanti, off the back of you winning the, the Hearts Standard Player of the Month award for, for February, how does it feel to get that sort of recognition from the fans for the performances you've been putting in? Yeah, a bit surreal, honestly. I was, I was a bit surprised, but I'm, yeah, honestly, really stoked with it. I think just for me, it's been about getting consistency and really taking each game as it comes and sort of getting that, getting to a stage where I can put yeah, solid performances in week after week and I feel like over the last couple of months I've been able to do that and for me it's just about pushing on from now and having a strong end to the season for myself and more importantly the team I think for me yeah I really want to push the team and secure third spot and hopefully lock in European football for next year because that'd be awesome and like yeah I've spoken to all the boys in the dressing room that have played European football and it sounds it sounds unreal, so that's something I'd really love to do. Well, that's something you, you missed out on last year, didn't you? Maybe yeah. signed a bit late and then I think you, you got an injury as well, yeah, so that's yeah. got to be a, a huge yeah. incentive for, for finishing stuff and, and getting that next year. Yeah, 100%. And even, yeah, just with the, the little taste I did see, obviously being in the stands for the for the Rosenberg game and stuff, you can see how, how big those nights are. So that's something, yeah, I'm really looking forward to. You spoke about the fans just a, a couple of minutes ago. How have they, how have they been with you? Have you been sort of spotted out and about in Edinburgh, anyone giving you any tips and advice? Uh, they've been good for me so far, I haven't, I've seen, I've seen a few here and there and just had a small chat but but yeah, haven't haven't got too much slack yet so, <laughs> so so that's always a positive but no, obviously yeah, coming to a club like Hearts is so many fans and they're, they're so passionate and they seem to be everywhere you go so, uh, so in that aspect it is really different to what I'm used to and where I came from but it's it's really positive and it's it's really cool to be in a, a city where obviously football is the number one sport and 
and just where there's so much passion for the game and for the club, it's yeah, really nice to be involved in that. Absolutely. You've scored a couple of goals now, got a couple of assists. What's, what's been your standout moment in the Hearts jersey so far? Uh, my, stand, my standout moment, probably for me, I'd say the the, come, the comeback game where we won 3 2 and I got the first goal. For me, I'd say that was the my favourite moment so far, obviously, it was my first goal for the club. and. I think that sort of it was a really important game for us, and picking up the three points in that game was yeah meant meant a lot for for us when we were on the table. And I was just happy to be able to sort of kickstart that comeback in a sense, and then yeah for the boys to kick on and and, and get the result in the end. That was a really good night for me. But apart from that, there's been a lot of other games that I've been really really proud to be involved in, like the last game against Celtic where we won two 0 at home in front of the in front of the home crowd. I think that was also a big highlight for me. I think all the boys put in a really good shift that day and to come out with the win against obviously a really, really tough side in Celtic was, yeah, really memorable. Speaking of that game as well, can you talk us through your assist for, for Lauren Shanklin? Is that, is that designed or is that just, uh, yeah, just instinct? Course. Yeah, <laughs> no, nah, everyone's saying it's that slip, but the way I look at it, it was uh, 100% um, on purpose and <laughs> <laughs> nah, not at all. Honestly, Shank sort of, yeah, f fed the ball into me and I was... I got a bit excited and then I just felt my legs go. <laughs> but lucky enough for me, I sort of was able to prod it back and Shanks was just in the right, right spot as he always seems to be and put it home. So yeah, good outcome, but yeah, definitely probably one I'll look to forget. A lot of players are swapping the A-League for the SPFL. Um, what surprised you the most about Scottish Uh I think just the, in the intensity on the pitch and, and, the, and the passion off the pitch really has been the two main Major adjustments for me, obviously. Um, I think the, the A League's really great, and, the, and there's so many quality players there, and it's definitely a different style of football. I mean, you come over here, and you've got a lot of teams that don't necessarily want to play football as much, and just turn it into a really, really physical, physical contest. And I think that was something that I've had to adjust to personally. And yeah, like obvi it's obvious you can't you can't back down from the from the physical sides, and you're gonna have to. You know, know when to put in put in an elbow or shoulder and know when to foul the player and but yeah, so for me that's just been the biggest thing is really getting up to getting used to the pace of the game and, and knowing sort of how to deal with the, the type of teams that wanna just smash you <laughs> pretty much. Did you speak to Oli Bazanic at all before signing when the opportunity came up or was it just uh, speak to him after? Yeah, yeah, I spoke to him a bit when I yeah, knew I had like interest from hearts and that and and yeah, like I said, he was nothing but he had nothing but positive words to say about the club, and he said, "Yeah, go for it." And so for sure, that gave me confidence to come over here. And yeah, like I said, not even just that, or just all the other Aussies that are coming over here and, and doing well, sort of gave me the confidence. And I think yeah, it was a pretty straightforward decision for me, and I haven't looked back. How often did he mention his goal against Hibs? Did he tell you about that one? Or? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I remember back in Australia, definitely remember him. Him bringing that one up and showing us the videos and that. <laughs> I believe Ryan McGowan gave you a nickname when you were at Sydney FC. Uh, is that nickname stuck around? No, really, actually, no, no. He, yeah, so G Gals used to call me Sleepy way back at Sydney. But to be honest, it's, it's kind of been forgotten about it. He's the only one that still calls me that. But so, so when we both St Johnston, sometimes I'll hear that in the in the back of my head. But <laughs> now we've done this interview, all. everyone's going to be calling you that. That's it. Uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Same with six. So yeah, speaking about the, the national team, obviously Cami, Kai, Natty, and then looking at Keanu Bacchus, Ryan yeah. Stray and other players in the league all getting international recognition. Yeah. Take it, that's the next thing that's on your radar to, to break into the soccer rules and, and make your debut for them. Yeah, absolutely. I think that that's obviously any kid's goal plays up playing football in Australia is to play for the soccer is one day. And now I feel like I'm at a really good really good place in my career, being at a big club where I know that if I do well and if I putting good performances consistently, then that'll give me the best chance to, yeah, get a call up eventually. And yeah, on top of that also, we've got the 23s at the moment uh, with the Olympics coming up in August. So that's another massive goal of mine. So hopefully we can qualify for the Olympics because that'd be obviously yeah, an awesome experience to go over to Paris and compete in that. So for sure, that's something I'm really looking forward to and hoping for. Your parents apparently watch every single game from mm. afar. They came over for a few games in yeah. December as well, I think. How, how important is their support for you, not just since you've been hearts, but throughout your, your career? Yeah, massive. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right. They, they love it. They're, they're watching every game. Even now that, that I'm injured and I haven't played the last game, they're still up at 3, 4 a.m. Sydney time and they'll be messaging me on the group chat, <laughs> giving me a good rundown of, of the game. And 
and everything. But I mean, yeah, they've they've been massive for me. And they mean so much. It's really good to obviously have a strong base that I can lean on for to talk to. And you know, whether I've had a good game or a bad game, they're always going to be there and support me. So. It means a lot and it's really, really helped me. Yeah, load. And yeah, it was nice to have them over as well in December and show them around the place and for them to see Tiny. And they actually came to the um, the Celtic game at Parkhead where we beat them and yeah, they, they loved it. So yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're massive jambos as well now. You showed them the Tiny Arms next time as well. Yeah, right? exactly. You got, got somewhere new to go. Yeah. We've got a, a Scottish Cup semi-final to, to look forward to. Uh, obviously looking to finish the job for third place as well. Uh, what are your goals between now and, and the end of the season? Uh, for me, yeah, I just want to finish the season on a really strong note. The, the biggest one for me and I think for the boys is to secure European football for next year. So hopefully, yeah, if we, we pick up a few more wins in the league that we can, can, uh, we can secure third spot. And, and in the Cup, I think it's obviously going to be a massive game and a difficult game against Rangers. But for us, I think we're going to have to go out there with a really high level of energy and re really test them this time and, and get involved and, and be physical when we have to and foul them when we have to. And we're going to have to, yeah, really ma make it difficult for them to play. But, yeah, so I think the biggest thing for us is really just to secure European football for next year because, like I said, I've heard from the boys just how, how awesome it is and it's something that I, I'd, I'd, love, I'd love to have next season. Just one final question, Aussie rules or Gorgie rules? Gorgie rules. There we go, good man, <laughs> good answer. <laughs> right, Cal, thanks very much. Cheers, appreciate it, mate.